Welcome back everybody uh, to the next uh, Revitine instalment of Revit LT 2016. Okay, and working on our introduction project. Okay, so um, in the previous um, uh, instalment we added some doors and windows um, into some previously built walls and the walls were previously built into constrained levels so that's the fundamentals of everything at the moment okay a quick re recap we can punch a door into different size wall thicknesses and it will automatically adjust and I can also change the swing and direction of the door either by clicking on these little arrows well, we can tap on the spacebar. Similar principle applies to windows. Spacebar, spacebar, spacebar. And that is the bones of it. Okay, so the next stage is to put a roof, uh, fascia and gutter onto this particular project. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to put on a hip and valley roof okay and again just watch the, the beauty of you know the way Revit works okay so the very important thing with roofs is we've got to make sure that we get our pitching point correct okay so where does the roof actually sit okay and for this project it is actually going to be sitting on the ceiling level so go into your project browser double click on ceiling level okay and you will see that the drawing has gone, you know, all the lines have gone grey. The other thing that's happened is that we can't see any of the doors and windows. Okay, they are still there. Um, they've just disappeared because of something called view range. Okay, and um, that's about all I'm going to say about that right now because that's yet another um, uh, discussion point. So, with this we can now, when we're in the right level, okay, i.e. this, these grey lines are the tops of the walls, okay, and that's the important part, okay, so now we're going to go back into our architecture tab, okay, and we're going to look in our build function and we're going to look for roof, and there it is there, okay, so by default if I just click on this little gem in here, it will say roof by footprint, um, if I click the down arrow, I get a couple in Revit LT we get a couple of options. So we've got roof by footprint and roof by extrusion. Okay, and then there's some other things that we can add to the roof as well. So we've got the soffit, uh, roof faces and gutters, and we're going to deal with those as well. Okay, the full version of Revit has an additional element in here, okay, as if we were modeling up a roof, but we can't do that in LT. So but all we're going to do is we're just going to choose roof by footprint. Okay, so we can see here that our green options bar has reappeared. Okay, and we're now in sketch mode. Okay, so and what sort of things can we see here? So we've got some line tools up here, so which obviously Revit's going to let us draw the shape of the roof. Okay, we've got in the properties bar the type of roof that we want to build. Okay, and by default Revit will punch up a generic 400mm uh, roof if you are in the Australian, using the Australian Library. If I click on this, okay, we see a range of other um, roofs here. None of them are perfect, but the one that's going to look, look will have the best approximation to how the roof should look, okay, it's certainly externally is the generic 125mm, so just click on that. Okay, and the 125 takes into account, you know, about a 90mm truss, um, around about 35mm of battens, and around, you know, 35 to 40 millimeters of roofing material. Okay, so that's where the 125 comes from. So we've got that part there. Um, we have to make sure that our base level is correct, which is the ceiling level. Everything else should be fine. Okay, and we want to make sure that our rafter cut by default is a plumb cut. Okay, so 
that's part that part with the pro I'm quite happy with our properties okay in the options bar we have this option here called an overhang okay so this is how wide how far out you want your eaves to be okay so a fairly classic eave um, uh, width in Australia and New Zealand is 450 millimeters about one and a half feet um, if you're using imperial measurements okay so we're going to choose a 450 measurement now the key thing with this particular method of doing the roof okay is that we're going to go now that we're back into looking at the drawing function is that by default we've already got this one added or already highlighted it's called the pick walls function okay and what this is going to do is it's going to create a sort of the most correct uh, method of putting up what we would call, you know a trust roof up so we're just going to use this pick walls function now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over my walls okay I'm going to zoom in a little bit better so we can see a bit more okay so if I hover over the outside edge of the wall you'll see a blue dashed line appear if I go on the inside there it is there okay so that blue line is the outer edge of the roof and that would be where the edge of the truss or the rafter would be the where the top cord or the rafter would be okay so we just go left click to place it okay so we see a couple of a little bit of information here the main one up here is that see here we've got the angle okay and it says there by default that it is 30 degrees don't change anything yet we can change that individually but we're going to do that via the properties window later on so all we need to do now is okay so we've got one window I'm going to go clockwise it doesn't matter which direction we go so clockwise bang you'll see that each time I pick the wall it automatically fillets in the corners so everything's nice and trimmed and the Revit does a lot of the work for us a lot of those sort of manual sort of 2D jobs okay are automated making life a lot easier okay so there is our roof that's the outline of the roof 450 millimeters away from the edge of the brick remember this is a brick veneer wall okay um, and with a 30 degree slope now in Australasia in Australia the classic roof pitch is what we call a quarter pitch okay which is 22.5 degrees okay so you just go into your properties find slope okay and change the number in there so look work with Revit okay so Revit calls it slope in Australia we'll call it pitch okay exactly the same thing okay when that's applied we can see here in the drawing itself these walls are now saying 22.5 degrees okay so there we go now if we look at this roof if you know your architecture for the Hippon Valley roof we'll know that we've got a we'll have a hip here 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 and here and in all likelihood we're going to have a valley in this point here so let's test our theory and all we're going to do is we're going to click the finish edit mode which is the big tick green tick up the top there okay and it is done okay now do not stress if you see this okay and you see it looks like the roof has been cut off again there's that wonderful thing that we've called view range and view range has something called a cut plane and this is just basically where the roof has been cut on the z-axis okay it's just a viewing issue it is not the fact that the roof has disappeared and the best way to prove that is to go into our 3d default view okay and have a look and there we go so zoom all the way around so as we can see hip hip there's our valley in there okay it looks all quite nice and behaving itself okay so really good thing is that while we're in 3d this is where we're going to do the next stage of the roof aspect okay so we're going to add the fascias and the gutters okay so the first step is that we would add the fascia so we go to roof we click on the drop down arrow there and we go roof fascia okay and this is basically a click function so what we want to do is we want to zoom in a little bit okay so it can be a little bit, little bit dexterous here okay so 
what we want to do is we want to click on the top line of the edge of the roof on the outside. So if I left click that, there we go. We'll see the fa see a fascia appear there. Okay. While we're still in the fascia mode, we're still in the pro we're still in the command. Okay. Scroll around. Remember, hold your shift key down, middle mouse button. Scroll around and just click all the way round okay until you've put a fascia all the way around the house okay now if I was to hit escape okay and zoom into that if I click on the fascia you'll see that it's highlighted as one element okay so what that does is just basically mean it's when we do use, use the fascia command and the gutter command okay while you're click in and if you don't escape out of the command it will keep on it will sort of interpret each segment as part of a whole unit okay that can be a bit of a nuisance if you make a mistake because you have to restart so it's something that will come with a bit of practice and when you see um, issues arise and things like that okay so the next step here is that we're going to go into back into the roof now we're going to add our gutter so we're going to go roof gutter so back in that tool there roof gutter now same process but before we do that we need to show you a little trick here okay because as I zoom in here I want to grab these outside edges here but typically you know we might be zooming out here and it could be a little bit hard to see them okay and this is because Revit's line weights are turned on in 3D okay now, but if I go to the very top of our page to our quick links here Okay, quick commands. There's a command there called thin lines or TL. So if I left click on that, what it does is turn every line to a very, very thin line on the screen. It doesn't change what's going to print, but what it does do is it just makes it really easy for us to see where lines are and stuff. So um, a very handy tool when you're trying to do, you know, fine detail work in Revit. Okay. So here we've got the gutter tool, we're still active. Okay, so now I can go like I did with that one, I'll make sure I click on this outside edge of the fascia, left click, down, there it is there. Okay, zoom in, left click, down. You'll see that Revit actually has trimmed and filleted that, you know, gutter for us. There we go again, really nice clean lines. And again, lots of zooming, scrolling in and out with the middle mouse button, picking the left thing right there. Okay, and done. I can hit the escape key a couple of times, and that is our roof. Okay, so roof added, hip and valley, we've got a fascia set there, and we've got a gutter there. Okay, so time for you probably to go away and practice that. Okay, because there's a bit of an art to getting this one right. Um, especially if you hit the escape button or have to restart your face or gutters. But we will see you again.